spaces, we are going to be working on a modified two octave scale that will work for when the violins and viola cello play a three octave scale. So you can find the finger map in your packet and I will kind of walk us through it. You can also look at the finger map on the board behind me. What I wanna do right now is just practice the G string portion of the regular two octave scale, playing two notes on each pitch. So we're gonna only go up. What's nice about this is it's a one, four, one, four pattern until we get to the harmonic that we switch to a third finger and then back as a, as a four, one, four, one. But we're only gonna go up right now. Open G, three, four. modified three octave scale as a bass player, we are going to play all the way up to the F sharp note the first time. And then play open G and climb up that same portion of the scale again. This time going to the harmonic, coming back down. So you see what I mean, a little bit of Groundhog Day repeating itself. Let's try this together, just going up. Remember, we're going to play all the way up to the F sharp note, and then use open G to allow us time to get our hand back. Remember to lean the bass a little forward so the bows can support the weight. Two notes each pitch, open G, three, four. <laughs> practice going backwards. The trickiest part is after you're playing on the way down, while you're playing open G, is finding the F sharp note again. So that will be our trickiest portion of this. So here we are going backwards, starting on harmonic. Three, four. Okay, basses, now we are going to play the entire scale. Remember when we get up to F sharp the first time, we go back to open G, then we continue up to the harmonic, turn around, open G, back to the F sharp, and then all the way down the scale. Two notes each pitch, here we go. Three, four. Sharp pinky. 